This is Minister Paul. I'm compelled to make this video and ask others to pray about it. In all seriousness, it's about him and not us. Okay, so let me just go over this real quickly because I'm heavy hearted right now. Um, this morning on April 2nd, 2014 at around 8 a.m., I woke up to a dream where a, now just follow me on this, so this was like eight and a half hours ago, and I've been praying on this for eight and a half hours, uh, a meteor was flying down and down and down north of my house, and I could see it. It was bright and white, and at times I could not differentiate to whether it was a chemtrail or contrail or a meteorite. But clearly, as it got closer and closer, because it just looked like a big long line of smoke, and it came down and down and down and then land it without any noise. I, I'm just still praying over this. EMP attack, plane crash. But here's where it's get interesting, okay? So I prayed the Lord, Lord Jesus. Um, you know, my online ministry is finished and he said, because you said so, not me. He said, you're to endure your, your cross to the end. Or, and, or you're no, none of me. And it's just, this is my personal relationship. Everybody understand we have our own personal relationship with Jesus. And you can't run my race and I can't run your race, but we must run the race with endurance. And it's easy to just want to quit and give up. But let me continue. So it did actually strike earth whatever it was. I, I assumed it was a meteor. I prayed over it and prayed over it and I prayed over it hard because I was seeing 37 everywhere. I mean, I went for a drive and I drove by the house number 37. I went and got something at Walgreens and the receipt was 7.33 and it just continued and continued out of pattern. The clock was, uh, you know, 7.33 and every time, everything. And I asked the Lord, what is this? What is this sign? told my wife about this and she I asked her to pray about it and then I went and talked to a, a friend and he said that it's a sign of an event that's going to happen in your life that's a, exactly what he said and so I prayed on it some more and I came home and I looked at this computer let me just show you how I did this I heard the, the I heard the spirit of the Lord say go check the uh, meteor site he, I mean, he, he really did say that. It was not on my mind at all. When you can't shake a dream and it just keeps gnawing at you and gnawing at you and you feel led by the Holy Spirit to share it and share it, it doesn't matter what you think. Understand that first. I, I hope that you can uh, learn and grow from my disobedience because I'm being obedient now. And I've said that. I have to share this. And so the Lord took me here. Now I want you to know that there's been only one meteor sighting in California. And it's this one. It's let me let me show you how I did this. There's there's only one pending in California on 42, and it's Fremont, California. And the person, and this is just amazing to me. The person Cooper C lists himself as a, a level three expert on this and um, he describes it in the same fashion I saw it in my dream and I don't know how to explain that but I had a dream of what he saw so, I mean just the way he described it the color so he said it was about a hundred miles from his location and the ge uh, geo location is three seven right right here now just watch me on this. And then he, he said it was going right to left and uh, to down to left, just exactly like it was in my dream. The same color. 
He said it was a glowing streak from right to left at a steep arc angle, exactly what I saw. Terminal flash, no. Fragmentation, no. Exact sounds, no. Exactly like I saw it. And this person goes so far to give the exact address of where he lives when he saw it. And I, the Lord began to speak to me. And he really did. So I put this address, I just cut and paste into Google Earth. Now watch this. And here it is. Please take note that here is the 37 coordinates. But I, I, I talked to my wife about five minutes on this. Some things in our life are literally impossible to explain. You know, I asked my wife, explain this somehow. The odds of this happening, that I dream of something falling out of the sky, that I'd see someone posting about it, I'd hear to go from the Lord to go look about it, and then look it down here. It's at the altitude, can everybody see this? Of 3737 feet. There's no denying this, that it's at the altitude of 3737 feet. Look uh, over here, just under where it says Google Earth. That's 3737. I cannot believe that. And just to show you, I'm not playing around. Here is Sacramento. This is, uh, this is Fremont. He's, he's near Sacramento Avenue. Right here. This is Sacramento Avenue. This is, can everybody see this? It's Sacramento Avenue. Where, you know, where I live. And so here's his address that I've cut and pasted into Google Earth. I'm gonna hit go, so Google does its own thing and I don't manipulate it at all because something serious is coming, saints, and everybody feels it. Look at, at the bottom right below Google Earth. It takes you from his description of something I dreamed it takes you to 3737. And it doesn't end there. So I began to pray fervently about this because I know something's going to happen. There's not that many coincidences. And I heard the Lord clearly speak. Now, this dream and this vision of what I'm seeing is a reoccurring dream and vision for the last three years. And I, I go check my videos and I heard the Lord clearly speak clearly speak, he said, beholdeth he comes. Just like that, beholdeth he comes. And so I put that in Google and was brought to Revelation 1. <sighs> Revelation 1, 7. Watch, let's do this. I always try to make short videos. Beholdeth, I'll just put behold, he Cometh. Behold, he cometh in the clouds in Google will take you to exactly Revelation 1, 7. And I've been reading a Bible study on this. Beholdeth he, that be Jesus, cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, amen. So I read the whole book. I'm, I'm reading this whole Bible study on it. And it's fascinating read, fascinating read. I'm going to put a link to this. Ask you to pray over this, you know. And what is the Lord showing you? I know what he's showing me. And people think I'm crazy. But, uh, I just, and obedience have to put this out there and put all these links together. That's the sequence of events that led me to his word that beholdeth he cometh with clouds. Read the whole book of Revelation. And then I was reminded I just did a video on just that, Revelation 1. There's too many coincidences. I, uh, I, I pray that you take this to the Lord. Amen. Because I did. Love you all. God bless you all. Shalom.